Hi, my name is Michael Wester, and welcome from downtown Beijing. I've been a resident here for over 20 years, and today we're going to bring you a small element of China's intangible cultural heritage, and that is dough figurines. We're lucky here today to have someone who not only has been doing this for 20 years himself, but is also descended from a line of family members who have been doing this now for over 100. His dad was a master, and so was his grandfather. And today he's going to show us how to make a panda. Hi, Hi. I'm Mike. And uh, your name is? Uh, my name is Long Jia Ziyu, and you can call me Long Jia. Long Jia, yeah. great, excellent. Well, tell me, tell me a little bit how about how did you get into this initially? Uh, I learned this from my father, and started to do some little animals or some toys like when I was three or four years old. Wow, yeah. it's kind of be kind of interesting for our kids. So, what what's your favorite figure to make aside from a panda? Um, I think I like to do some shoes of Jordans or something like that. Oh, sneakers! Uh, yeah. Sneakers. Oh, really? Awesome! So it's not all just the traditional stuff, as you can also do modern things. I imagine maybe some people do superheroes. And yeah, yeah, like the Marvels. Oh, that's awesome! Wow, look at all these tools. Well, we were just talking earlier today uh, about this about this particular dough. Uh, this is not a typical Play-Doh that you might see in a store. This is actually handmade, and it's made from a special recipe with actual, starts with actual flour. And it has, yeah. you said, honey and yeah. some other things? And, and salt. I think the, the smart part of uh, Asian China people, they, they use the very simple material to help to, to scalp. Even though this looks kind of like it might be delicious, and it is made of dough, it's not for the eating. So let's get started. Okay. So we're okay. gonna start with the head. It's actually very similar to Play-Doh, but yet still has kind of a, a different uh, uh, sponginess to it. Yeah. And now uh, you can use both of your hands and roll it. Okay. And uh, separate it into equal size. Kind of squids and connect it to the head. You know what amazes me as well when I look at the when I look at people doing this on the street is how fast they can make yeah. this. So it's a, quite quite miraculous. You know they got a are they living so they they have to be quick and five or three minutes to finish one and to yeah. sell it. All right, let's go for the next step. I think you can do anything to to, to anything it's the sculpture materials to play play, play doh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The upper arms. Okay, and then use your finger to press here. And then from behind. You can cover the, the bottom of the pen. Now we just need the uh, his staging area and his bamboo. I suppose some of you might be wondering why we're, why we're wearing masks. Uh, we're right in the middle of the novel coronavirus situation, which is all over the world these days. And we feel very safe here in Beijing because Beijing has taken a lot of very specific measures to make sure that the outbreak doesn't get any worse. Now you can see the master versus the amateur. <laughs> That's good, that's good for the first time. So we hope to see you this fall in Beijing where you can actually do this in person or maybe some, see some masters doing it. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay at home. And if you have some modeling clay or some Play-Doh, you could try doing this on your own. Yeah, to see if you can do it better. I'm gonna leave you with a few words in Chinese. Hai nei cun zhi ji, tian ya ruo bi li. Though we are far away, we are close in spirit. 在线畅游北京，在家乐享非遗. We hope you enjoy Beijing's intangible cultural heritage from the comfort of your own home. Bye bye.